Welcome to Daytona Bike Week 2024. Welcome to the Bob and Tam Show today. This is officially open day. This is March 1st on Friday down here on Main Street. Tam's a little under the weather. I think uh, the pollen and all that stuff was in the air and we went riding the other day. So I'm going to leave her home for a little while, but we are going to have a live tonight. So we'll see. If you see her tonight, you'll know she was on the live. So we're going to go over here to Humphreys because we want to get our coin. So do we have the coins? Finally, yes! Alright. And what's so special about this year's coin? Anything special on it? Brand new design. We have a low rider and it is awesome. Going down Main Street and beautiful. You want me to show it to you? That's right. So we're going to buy one. Okay. Gotta add it to my collection. Let me get it for you. And you have to also show my brand new bike too. Oh, you got something new? Very new. Alright. And another, let's see, I've been working midnights for the last month. Finally have our website up. So oh, okay. Bikeweekjewelry.com or HumphreysandSon.com. All righty. Yes, taking some time. Yeah, we heard the people had the flu that was making the stamping them. Yes, and they were the sick. Dye, the, yep, the dye maker. Yep. So, so we've got the lowrider against the backdrop of Main Street on there, the front. And then we've got the back, Forever We Ride. All serial numbered, comes with the authenticity card. We and only make the, 1,500 of them. And what's the price? $59.95, one right. ounce of pure silver. Yep, and then we're definitely gonna get one today. Oh, awesome. To add to my collection. Yay, okay. And, uh, well, I, I after we put this on next tomorrow, it'll be sold out. I picked a nice low <laughs> number for it. Here's his new piece here. Oh, look at that. New suspense, all solid gold. Enameled with the red. Yeah, that's the new piece. So we did the bike to coin to match his new design. So that's something you made here? Yes. That's right. something Sean makes, yes. You wanna say the price? The price of the pendant is four thousand one ninety five. There you go, get that for your wife. Sure. She'll feel, love it. Feel the weight of that. Oh wow, it is pretty solid. Yeah, solid. It is very solid. There you go. Pretty oh, yeah, slick. Heavy. They also made uh, ones like Evil Knievel had and stuff, mm -hmm. pulling wheelies and stuff. They oh, made nice. that jewelry here too. Oh. Yep. That's awesome. Yep, there's Evil right up there. Yep. My mother-in-law. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 So if you want to get that coin, stop down here. It's Humphreys Jewelry. What's your address on Main Street? 500 Main Street. There you go. And we're open every day at 9.30? 9.30 to about 11 o'clock at night. Mm, so yep. get here soon because they just got them in and they only got, yeah. now they got 1,499 yeah, left. Yes. <laughs> so it's about quarter to 10. Friday, opening day. Just kind of taking a quick stroll down Main Street. Oldest vendor on the street, been here forever. You can already see it's about almost 10 o'clock this morning and it's Friday. The street's already starting to fill up. Hi, Melissa here at Mustang Seats. We are at JMP Cycles in Ormond Beach and hoping you all come down and see us at our tent. We do have our new CBO seat, uh, brand new for the 2023 CBOs and some of the 24 models. We also have some awesome custom seats and of course everything you need for your bike. So come see us. YouTubers, we actually met somebody we actually met a whole bunch of times. He does more shorts than you do I videos. Do a lot of shorts, yeah. And uh, tell everybody who you are. Hey, I'm Dave Winslow from St. Joe, Missouri with Dave's Crazy Trainers. 
and he pulled that trailer around all over the United States. All over. Right there. behind his motorcycle. So if you're looking for somebody to give you some advice or some tips, go to his channel, go on there and write him and, and tell him some of the things, because we always get that. Everybody always wants yeah. to know. Interview guys that have whole trailers don't, and stuff. Don't ever do it. That's what everybody tells <laughs> me anyway. Don't ever pull a trailer with your bike. But uh, how many miles you put, have you done pulling a trailer? Uh, probably over 60,000 miles now. Yeah. And never had any issues. Never had any issues. No. Yeah. The only issue now is I got a new motorcycle and I can't pull the trailer with the brand new motorcycle. Yeah. Uh, something special you know every once in a while we get to run into a youtube er and a lot of you say oh you guys meet a lot of youtubers but now this is another youtuber like last year we met nomadic fanatic and today we actually met somebody we've been watching maybe even longer than nomadic fanatic it's adam the woo he's actually from the florida area hello man i wish i could come out last year i could me and eric could have hung out and hung out with you, there you guys. Go. That's right. yeah we all eric and i always missing each other i haven't seen him since pre-2020 Tell everybody what kind of channel you have. Uh, there's, there's no title for it. I do everything. It doesn't have a listing. You're kind of like the original vlogger, though. I think I, I call myself the second wave of vloggers. The original daily vlog kind of started in 07, 08. I started mine in 11, 2011. So I'm a second wave. But I, I'm old school. Definitely. So you also had that, uh, how long did you consecutively put a video out every single day? I did 1,911 days. I did five years. I have a tattoo right here. And then two months later, I quit for a little while, a few months, and then I started back. And so, you did that, and you actually did that twice. You did yeah. one, and then you came back and did another one for a couple years. Yeah. So back, and then for a while, you even had two channels going on. I know. I've been doing Daily Strong for probably over a year again now. Yeah, I've been going since, gosh, 2012, early 2012, so. You're the Jerry Seinfeld of bloggers. That's it. Because I, your show's a little bit about nothing. <laughs> a little bit. It's absolutely all about nothing. There's no content. It's just point. I always say I just point out the obvious. Yeah. Like, what do you do for a living? I point at things and I state the obvious. That's my, you show that's a lot my, of really good things. You talk about it. You know a lot about movies and stuff. I love to go see. Yeah. You know, we walked out there years ago out to the MASH set and uh, before I burned this last time again. And that's just cool to go out there and see things like that. But without seeing channels like yours, right. you don't you don't know where those kind of places are. You stay busy and keep yeah. traveling. You, open, yeah. you throw enough crap at the wall, Something's sometimes dirty. it's going to stick. <laughs> sometimes it's going to slide down. Sometimes stuff sticks. So it's great meeting you. And uh, hopefully we'll see you some more. My voice is a little hoarse because yesterday I went to the Florida Strawberry Festival. Oh. And I was a little over-exaggerating a little bit on the rides. I threw my <laughs> voice out. So. That's why my voice sounds a little... Yeah. Not little normal. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. It's day two of Daytona Bike Week, Saturday, March 2nd. And here's a list of events and things that are going to go on. At Teddy Morrison's, they're going to have the Full Throttle Bike Show. They're going to have that Globe of Death. There'll be a couple shows with that. They're going to have vendors, food, the bikini bike wash starts today, and that's all free. Just tip those girls. The Drifters Collective Stunt Show is in the back, and the Hand Balance Show is going to have a couple shows. And Ballot Show is going to have a couple of shows also. Saints and Sinners is going to have Jasmine Kane at 8 to 10 p.m. tonight. And then they'll have bands throughout the day also before that. Broken Spoke, and they're going to have the Bad Apple Rat Rod Bash. That's going to be at the Broken Spoke. And then they're going to have Kiss America between 9.30 and 11.30. The Iron Horse, they've got the Wall of Death. They've got those steak tips. Don't forget about, you bring your mug, you get that free beer between 4 and 5. And their main act for the evening is Colt Ford between 9 and 11. Boot Hill Bar on Main Street. They're going to have bands inside Knot Slide from 4 to 12.30. Boot Hill Outpost 
at US 1. It's going to have vans from 5 to 8. Sons of Speeds is today. Don't forget that. Go out and check out Sons of Speed. They're going to have the old school racing. They have those old bikes that go like 70 miles an hour with no brakes. That's always a good time to go out there and see that. Uh, also today is the Deland Bike Rally in Deland, Florida. They have all kinds of events going on out there. Food, a good time, all kinds of bands. Check that out. Hackleberry's contest today is the Daisy Dukes contest at 8.30. And then they're going to have a wet tea at 10.30. They also have vendors and bands, and they have a wall of death out there also. Also at the doghouse, they're going to have a bunch of bands. At the Diddy dealership, they're going to have bikes, bands, $3 billers. Don't forget that. They also are going to have their IMRG owner's ride, and that starts between 8.30 and 9.15. They're going to have a free breakfast. You're going to get to meet Tyler O'Hare. Pick stands up at 9.30, so if you want to go on that ride, there you go. That's all going to be at the Indian dealership. So if you're looking for demo rides for Indians, they have them at the dealership. They're on beach. They also have them out at the Speedway and Slingshot rides at both of those locations, too. Don't forget all the daily events, the Speedway. They've got all their vendors out there. Demo rides for almost any kind of bike you can think of. If you wanted to ride, you can ride on those. They have stunt shows out there. Don't forget the International Motorcycle Parts swap meet on International Speedway and Tamako Farms Road. That's out there by where the regular uh, flea market is. I think that's $10 to get in. And the Volusia County Fairgrounds at Bass Lanes Campground, they also have a swap meet. So those are all the things going on today, day number two, Saturday, March 2nd. Stay tuned and find out what's going on on day three.